Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Ferrante Frazier from Savannah Natural Health. What I want to do is show you a meal that we have for today. Um, it's going to consist of these three grapefruit and a whole head of lettuce. This is a whole head of lettuce right here. Uh, right. The lettuce is going to be one of the easiest things to uh, do, right? Because we're going to pretty much just, we're not going to use a knife to cut the lettuce. Like I, if you see, I'm getting it at the root right here. I'm grabbing the lettuce like that and just ripping the root out of it, all right? So the root is ripped. All I got is lettuce left in my hand. Fill the whole head. So I put it back down and I grab some. Just twist it into piece and just start ripping it, tearing it. All right. Start, start tearing it. See? Just tearing it. No cut. Notice that when we uh, we look at animals in nature, they don't chop up their food um, with a, a, a sharp blade. They rip it from the, the, the plant or from the tree. So cutting is not a, the, a natural way. And you know, our approach is always as natural as possible. So we're teaching you a way of doing it that is really natural. You can get the best benefits from your food. So we're eating tender greens. This is butter lettuce, bib lettuce. So this will be our tender leaves. And you're looking at a really low calorie meal here. This is the type of meal that'll be consumed when you are not that active. Or if you're trying to, you know, lose weight and you need to eat a really low calorie meal. Mm -hmm. This would be one. The head, head of lettuce. Usually up under 20 calories. The whole head. You have to eat a truckload of, uh, of lettuce if you're trying to gain weight. Get a lot of calories, in other words. You have to eat a whole field of lettuce. So, our lettuce is done.
put this over to the side. Now we're gonna start on doing the grapefruit. Remember I told you I got three of them, all right? So we're just gonna open them up. Now there's different ways that I usually take my grapefruit, but today I'm gonna take it a little bit different because I'm not eating it in a hurry, in other words. I'm going to sit down and enjoy it with the uh, tender leaves. So we took off skin there. Open up another one. Another. All right. Open up another one. A lot of people would say that this is a lot of work, but it's really not. You know, imagine having to sit there and ball chicken for hours, barbecue rib for hours, having to keep going, basing food, cooking rice. Uh, you can't even cook rice as fast as I uh, peel these and pop up that uh, that lettuce. All right, so we finished with this part so far. All right, so we'll go to the next part. I just bust it in half, right? And if you notice in here, I don't want to eat all this this white stuff. Now I know that's not the most natural way because animals don't have thumb or anything like that to do what I'm about to do now, which is to pull off this fiberish part. They just eat all day, all right? That's where we got a little bit of wisdom here. See how I go in there and I pull out where I can just get Just the meat. Then I go to the next. Pull it off. Pull out. Just the meat. Just keep going down. It is really pretty much. I'm gonna eat this one half. All right, that's being greedy. You know how you get, you leave McDonald's and before you can get the bag in the car good, you're already digging in there for the fries, eating the fries out of there. Right, so this is gonna be, like I said, a really low calorie meal because i like to throw stuff away and let's get got some you know how you cut up a uh, pineapple i still be chewing on the core and get some of the juice out of it but, uh we get to that really quick see All that flesh, just pull it off. Steady going in there. Now you still be preparing the ribs right now. So don't look at this as a real laborious thing. If you was cleaning um, shrimp or peeling shrimp and different things like that, and then you still have to season it and cook it. Just gonna be ready to eat and just a second. You actually don't have to do all this of what I'm doing. 
It's just an added bonus. It's just kind of like if you had snow crab legs and you sit there and uh, you had crab and you was to go crack up all or oysters, crack them all up and get all of them out of there and then eat them later. All right, so getting this good meat up out of here. You still preparing your food. And I'm almost finished with a good, healthy, low calorie. And the, this this one right here be for people who may be suffering from like uh, diabetes or, high, or what they call high blood sugar. This meal right here would not spike your, your sugar level. This fruit right here is not as sweet with some of your other fruits. So if you change into a healthier lifestyle, but you suffer from uh, metabolic diseases such as um, bl uh, blood sugar issues, you'll want to uh, start off with uh, foods that are low in sugar until you uh, your body balances off. Then you can start indulging in some of the more Sweet of fruit. All right, so one down. We're breaking into another one. Okay. Same thing, we're gonna start opening it up. Okay. Uh, see how that meat just, just open up for us. Just meat. I guess this way it comes at for the need of our nails. A lot of uh, people thought that that was caused for us going ah like we were tiger, but the nails just help us dig into uh, these type of uh, fruits that we need to dig into. See, apples don't require you digging into them. Um, strawberries don't require you digging into them. Um, or it might be more natural. See, and when I'm not putting them in a bowl, I just be eating them. as I peel them. But for me to sit down and have a meal, we're going to peel some. Just flip that like that. And done. Like I got a small bowl here. be able to hold all these grapefruits. Running out of space. And number flesh right now. 
Yeah. Won't have nothing to eat with my letter. Keep writing on it the way I'm doing it. You see how I'm doing it over the bowl too? Because if any juice fall out, it'll fall into the bowl. That'll come in handy a little later on. At the end. Especially when you got different fruits combined. If you can bind the right fruits together and you let their juices mingle, you boy, you talking about a, a good tropical blend. Nothing like one that you create yourself from, from mixing fresh fruits together, especially when they're coming out of the fruit fresh, not having to sit in bottles, be pasteurized, be soaked with additives and And um, different um, preservative, trying to preserve the uh, the juice. Yep, look like I'm running out of space. So, while we're talking, I'm going to just bust up this one. Let's show you how we would just eat this naturally. Going out. Eat. Eat. It's not hard to eat fruit. In a long time, a lot of people don't like the taste of grapefruit, but they tend to say it's sour. That kind of depends on where you're getting your grapefruit from. A real good grapefruit actually is sweet. Those grapefruits that are grown in bad areas where the soil is not healthy. When you get those sour tasting grape fruit. And we tend to go after a lot of time at this ruby red too. I used to think that the best grapefruit was grown in Texas until I started growing on. Even though Texas grapefruit usually tastes better than all other grapefruit, better than California, all that. I'm up there with them now. So, pretty much done knocked off half of one.
I'll come back to that one. This right here is really, really good. Mm -hmm. That's fan. This grapefruit probably around about thirty calories itself. So oh, I know this meal right here is under one hundred and fifty calories. People who are trying to do like a 400 calorie diet will have one of their meals is similar to this one. You can do four of these meals a day. And still be less than 500 calories. And these calories are usable. I'm trying wasting them. These calories are usable. All right. Is this the last one? Mm-hmm. All right. So, you see the meal that we have? All right. Stay tuned, and we're going to eat them in just a minute. All right. All right. This is the part where we dig in. No more playing around with the food that's eating out of them. Get to dig in now. Like I said, we have some tender leaves that we broke up. We didn't uh, chop anything with a knife. We just tore them, you know, mimicking, ripping it off the plant. Mm -hmm. This is the straight jumping into eating the fruit. Now, the only, I guess, naturally, the reason why it's not ideal to do it this way, how we're doing, is because it doesn't slow us down. You know, if I was eating it the other way, it would slow me down because I had to rip into it. Yeah. I can sit here and just keep funneling it into my mouth. 
there's nothing that's blocking or hindering me to get to it. I didn't get it all out. Now, if you can, you know, have slow down habits where you're not a glutton and you're just steady just shoveling food in your mouth, then this is okay to do. But if you have no control, And you just don't go, not going to be ideal. Especially if you want some really sweet fruit, you'll end up over consuming calories because the sugar won't register by the time you consume so much of the fruit. So if you slow down your habit, are you eating? And you can give the sugar enough time to catch up. Where it can relate. The insulin can flow up through your spinal cord and let the um, hypothalamus know that you got sugar in the blood now. When that sugar get low, that's when hunger present itself. You know, I ain't put nothing on any of this. Even the, even the bib letter, I'm just eating. It tastes really good. No salad dressing. No bacon bits, no crouton, just let it. So the lettuce, you're going to provide me with a huge amount of minerals. My grapefruit are going to provide me with a huge amount of vitamins. So them together I get vitamins and minerals. Now, we know that I'm just doing one here, and I'm doing one here. This is actually my first meal of the day, and it's uh, 2.54. It's, it's, it's almost 3 o'clock in the p.m., More simple the meal is, the easily you digest the food. And you always wake your, your stomach up as simple as you possibly can. You don't want to wake your stomach up on a really harsh meal, a big complex meal. That's sweet. 
Well, if you know that I don't have nothing to drink with this meal. It's just these two bowls. I'm not thirsty. I'm not choking. Matter of fact, as I'm chewing this leather, the bunch of water look like coming out of the leather. I mean, you already know what the deal is with this right here. I squeeze some of the juice out. Each one. Mm. But each one of these little Is just fill up with juices. Little pods of juices. Now that was just one. And this right here in itself, probably like a hundred of them in just this little piece right here. So I just bust a hundred capsules of little juices in that one bite. Go another hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. Put them two together. Another hundred. Where's that? Probably about 200 capsules in there. I'm getting into this, this meal. I'm using, I have no problem knocking all this off. 
But it seems like I'm not going to get to all this today. When we start getting that fullness feeling, is when we want to actually stop. I don't want to overcrowd the stomach. Let's see you get back. Well, I see a lot of people think that it's really expensive to eat healthy. But one thing about healthy food. You get more bang for your buck. Those other food, they're not nourishing the body. So you tend to stay hungry. But when you're eating fruits and vegetables, Wholesome fruits and vegetables, your body can make use of it. So, not that much is required. And hunger don't keep springing up. Especially when you know what true hunger is. But if you know it, people don't crave fruits and vegetables. They crave Oreos. When there's a demand for certain vitamins and minerals, your body tends to want that. It smells really good to you. It tastes really good to you. Because your body needs something in it. Alright. So, I'm about there now. I'm about to probably take about a couple more bites. And we'll tally up and see what I did. And then we'll prepare y'all for our next meal on the next show. One. 
Let's buy. I don't really want to walk away from the table without feeling miserable. All right. So we know I ate that one whole grapefruit. So this is probably still another whole grapefruit. So probably two grapefruit and three fourths of a head of uh, lettuce. All right. So that's what we was able to down for this meal. Even low, even more low calorie. I feel perfectly well nourished. Um, not hungry. Um, not miserable. Um, won't have to go and take no diabetes shot or take no pills or anything like that. This is actually a low, low fat, a low, low protein diet. So we won't suffer from those issues, you know, liver damage or anything like that. From processing so much fat, um, won't be dealing with arthritis or other issues that, um, you know, inflammations and allergies that uh, result from over protein usage. So uh, this is what we consider to be a healthy format of eating. All right, so best of health and happiness from Savannah Natural Health. This is your naturopathic practitioner, Ferrante Frazier, your hygiene physician. Check us out, Savannah Natural Health. Go on Facebook, look at us at Ferrante Frazier, Savannah Natural Health, ATR Media, all things uh, relevant, like media on uh YouTube and on Facebook. Best of health and happiness. See you next time.